All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to graduate to the uh, apple. And I really like this apple that's in the picture, so we're going to try to do something close to this apple because of the nice light yellows and very pale greens and whatnot. There's some nice things going on with this apple. Now, here's my pool right here. I'm going to take some white, or I'm going to take some of that light color, some raw sienna, and I'm going to take a little bit of this yellow and orange, and I'm going to get a nice light color where I can put some light where that apple's going to be. All right? Now, as I look at it, it might I might need to go a little bit greenish. I'm going to go a little lighter, actually. Take some cadmium yellow and a little touch of turquoise. And I'm going to green it up a little bit. Cadmium yellow with a little touch of turquoise to get a light green. And I'm going to put some of that light green in there. I'm going to take a little more raw sienna with some of my color now. And the raw sienna is going to help it get a little bit earthy. Now, we're not going to get a perfect apple right out of the chute here. Now, take a look. There's a stem on this apple that's down in this area, so I'm going to use some of that light paint there. Maybe a little stronger touch of orange with some raw sienna in a couple of places. So now what I have is I've introduced some interesting little colors that will be part of the character of this apple. Go back to this real light green. I'm going to add a little bit more of that green in here. And this is just the beginnings. We're, we're going to be coming back on this apple, soften these edges. And now I'm going to go with a little bit more of an orange with a touch of red. And this is going to be kind of a transition color. If you, can, if you are still with me back there, kind of a transition color. And now I'm going to go with that darker red. There's a lovely dark red. So I'm going to use some of this same red that I used for my... Um, uh, wine, and I'm going to put some of these dark reds where I see them. Lay them in, boom, and there's some dark red that comes in down in this area, comes around in the back side of my apple, and I'm going to soften that edge while I'm doing it. A little bit more of that dark red down here. using short little strokes. And I'm probably going to have to restate some of my um, restate some of my grapes as I'm doing this. Now there's a very dark core. So I'm going to take some dark red, the dark red and some of this dark green and I'm going to pop that core in here. Where's that? The, where, where does the stem go? The stem goes someplace in here. So I'm going to now soften that edge so that I can suggest where that stem is going to be. And I can come out over in this area. Now you can see how we this as our foundation for our apple will be able to go back and work on this very easily next week, stating where the darkest darks are. You know, there's going to be some real dark reds in here in a couple of places, and that's going to help us with our apple. Work on the shape of our apple. An apple does not have to be perfectly round, by the way. All right now, I'm going to restate some of my grapes here. Suggest some of these grapes. And when I restate these grapes, I have to take them all the way down, possibly. So 
So there's a grape. Eh, let's see. I think. Let's see. Let me put this grape back in, and this grape back in. So I'm bringing the grapes back in that I just wiped out doing the apple. Once I have that, I see that I have an area here on my my bottle. I'm going to go ahead and fill in that area there. the green of the bottle. I've got to restate my grape. Restate this grape that I wiped out. This grape. This grape. And this grape. And that's going to help me there. Okay, go ahead and do your apple. Soften your edges. Work at the sh look at the shape of the apple. You know, you want to have it a convincing shape. But we don't need to get it perfect at this time. The apple does not have to be perfect. We would just want it to be in the ballpark as far as its shape and the uh, handling of our colors. I'm going to get a little bit more green in here, a little more yellow on my apple. And remember, use a little bit of your raw sienna when you're doing this yellow on the apple, and the raw sienna will make it a little bit more earthy. You don't want to have this too primary yellow. You want We're probably going to end up getting a little greener in a few spots as our apple develops next week. So everybody, go appleness. We're not going to worry about those highlights and reflected highlights and uh, reflected colors at this time. We're going to add those later. Right now, we just want the foundations done. 